Today we're talking about the overlay feature in InstantOS. Overlays in simple terms can be thought of like a guaca style drop-down menu or the KDE drop-down terminal, but instead it's for every single application that runs in a window. So that could be your terminal, your music player, your live chat application, basically anything can be turned into such a menu. To declare an overlay, you select the window and then press super control W. This will make the window an overlay. Or alternatively, drag the window to the top right corner. An overlay has several special properties. First, it's global for all monitors. So no matter where you declare the overlay, it will appear the same on each monitor. They can also overlay over anything, hence the name. So there could be a full screen game, multiple windows overlaying and sticky windows. Doesn't matter, it overlays over anything if you toggle it. It's also protected from accidentally closing it. So if I middle click on this, click on the close button, super Q, nothing happens until I right click on the close button that unlocks the overlay. Overlays can be toggled on or off using super W or by hovering the mouse over the top right corner. This works for all monitors and everywhere. Overlays also have several different modes that can either turn them into a sidebar or a drop down panel. So if I do super shift right, it's a sidebar on the right and appears on the right. If I do super shift left, it goes to the left and appears from the left. If I do super shift down, it's a menu that comes up from the bottom and super shift up goes to the default mode. That's a drop down menu from the top. Resizing overlays can be done by right clicking and holding on the title bar and it'll resize in the direction the overlay is pointing. So this one will resize downwards, this one will resize to the left, this one will resize to the right, and this one will resize upwards. To undeclare an overlay, either select the overlay and press super control W again to make it a normal window or replace it with a new overlay. So if I select this and then make it an overlay or drag it to the top left, you can see I only have one overlay. So declaring a new one replaces the old one. You can also close the window by right clicking on it and then clicking the close button, which I'm not going to do because this is my presentation. So you might be having a couple questions like how can I move it anywhere on the screen? Can I have multiple overlays? Can I have multiple for multiple monitors? To which the answer is no, and you shouldn't do that because that's a scratch pad feature. The overlay is simple so that it's very, very easy to use and quick to access. And for anything more complex, you should use the scratch pad or might look into the tag overlay feature, which, which is also similar. 